Hello everyone, my name is Tahseen and uh, I, today I want to discuss about credit history, credit report, negative rating, not getting approved for the bank loans. If you will get approved, you have to pay the higher interest rate and now at this point of time, you guys look, must be looking for uh, to check your credit report online, okay, to see what negative points are and how to get rid of it and how to improve your credit score and to come in the excellent category or at least good. So my suggestion is do not try to uh, pull out the information, uh, your uh, credit history from any of the random website, try to f read out the reviews online like what would be the best website to check out your credit score, credit history, where your information is secure. Now most of the websites, even the known websites I have, I have uh, worked with, uh, you know, or we have my company where I used to work with is basically help in credit repair uh, who help uh, the clients from US to repair their credit so I think my video specifically is for all uh, for the US citizens like be careful uh, when you're putting information online now how you would do it is first of all I just told you that check out the website check out the reviews about the website is it safe to put in your personal details to check your credit history and credit report now, um, I, I know about the website named creditreport.com. I think that's the most famous website where usually people go and check their credit history and credit score. That creditreport.com even sell you information. Uh, don't need to worry, they just, you know, don't sell your personal information like uh, your card number, social security number, they don't sell that. But they sell your name, your email, your phone. Uh, so the other the third party companies or most of the companies like credit repair companies can get connected with you and would like to help you in repairing your credit but uh, the main problem or the main issue comes in uh, when someone give you a call at the time when you're pulling out your report and try to portray that that he's from the company you are trying to pull a report from like for example creditreport.com and you will give him your information this is not, not the right thing they don't have any of your information they would just ask you very commonly like uh, you know uh, it's just for the verification purposes in order to assist you you have to provide me your last four digits of your card number and your CCV code and also your first name and last name and they, they might they don't have your card numbers they don't have a CVV code so once you will do that they might access your account uh, while kicking on forget password or any st other stuff they get access to your account and they would they would uh, portray you that you know they will just log into the same account you were at right now and they just try to pull out your credit report and this is not safe like you know at the end you they will ask for the complete card numbers they will ask for the social security number and you do provide them everything because you think that they might be from the same company and they're just trying to assist you and at the end they will offer you a credit repair and they will charge you a fee based on initial setup and the monthly basis so just make sure whenever you're pulling out your credit report if you receive any kind of a call just ignore that call just tell them you're good and you will pull out your report yourself and once you pull out the report uh, my recommendation or my suggestion not all the companies are bad online but my recommendation personal recommendation is to go visit some office visit visit some uh, any 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 lawyer um, paralegal lawyer uh, in, in your city, in, in your area, ask him that you want to remove these set stuff if you don't have time to do it by yourself and you, the, he will just assist you, okay? Just pay him in cash, uh, you know his office, you know everything and that's the best way to get rid of it because I know that people who are actually checking their credit score and credit history, they all are actually disturbed, okay? They are al already in financial crisis, their, their loans are not getting approved you know they, they are in trouble and that's you know that's most alarming thing and at that point when you need the money most you have to spend it to get the money that's the most critical time I've seen people crying and that you know that's not easy for me to even define you know so what I recommend is to spend your money wisely spend your money in the right direction where you will ultimately get the benefit out of it that's your main focus so you know uh, that's my only suggestion if any of you have been through this situation just try and guide others not to do so okay 
and if if you have been through this situation you want you're looking for any kind of solution you can contact me anytime you can just write me over like if that the situation you have been through or there is something else or at least if if any of you have been through this you can share this with others you can share this message with others might be it would stop many people to or you know spend the money in the right direction or to the right people so thank you so much i will be keep sharing my videos regarding this topic because my next topic is um i will actually guide you like how to handle the negative scores and what exactly you can do yourself to ignore and remove the bad credit history from your credit report thank you so much and uh, have a wonderful day